surprised and it's gonna be so worth it that you came back. I'm really glad you did. Because <laughs> I'm we don't know what just happened. So but. we um I had a friend who was um I guess we'll call it DJing. I don't I don't really know like what the, the technical term is, but um isn't it DJing when you play music? Well, yeah, but I mean, I think you have to mix things. Maybe I'm not really uh, sure. Basically, he was just he was picking records. Okay. Um, he sort of mixed them in the sense that you know, like he seamlessly went from you know he's got a turntable, so he went from one oh, end to the next, um, okay. nicely. But it nice. wasn't like you were like doing a mashup or mixing anything or you know okay. what I mean. So sure. I don't, I don't know what the technical term is. I understand. Um, his name is I suppose uh, DJ Oral. So, but it's spelled, That's pleasant. yeah, which is what's the selling point for me. When he told me, I was like, well, all about it. But he spells, he spells it, um, A U R O L. So like sure. oral, yeah. like aural, like auditory. Yes. Oral. So it's a play on words. And you know, mm-hmm. as you all have experienced um, a few minutes ago, I do enjoy a good pun mm-hmm. from time to time. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so he was doing stuff at this VFW, mm-hmm. and I don't know what it is, but VFWs are just, like, where it's at. <laughs> I, have you ever partied in a VFW before? Yes, one time. Ooh, I, I want to hear that story. Was it a rage? Um, you should probably tell your story <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't a crazy kick in time? <laughs> You're going Not to the, for me. You're going to the wrong VFWs then, no, I think. I think we were at the same one. The Valentine? I don't know. Is that the one? The Uptown one? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you were there on a it wasn't, off day. I mean, okay. You Again, I've only story. been there one night. Tell- so <laughs> <laughs> I can't say for sure. But the other VFWs I have been to, <laughs> yeah. we've always just had this like insane time. Like you get there and you look around and it's, you know, all wood paneling and like, you know, America and like you know antlers and you're just like this is so weird and like it's just dirty (laughs) and like there's just old guys and you're like this is just not like I don't know I feel uncomfortable here and then you have like (laughs) one beer and suddenly the whole place is transformed into just a I don't know an oasis (laughs) and and we had a beer we sat we talked whatever and then the music started and then all the hipsters started to show up yeah and um, we made just a wonderful evening of just watching these characters, man. It was like it was like this insane like network cable sitcom or something. Like like you could only create these people like on paper, like have a writer's room and have them like make <laughs> these people up. Like that's but then they're real. And so we we really enjoyed just sort of sitting and like watching everyone. We did a little dancing towards the end mm-hmm, um, when mm-hmm. he played the Humpty Dance because uh, that's my jam, and I had to get down. You don't know the Humpty Dance, no? You? That's okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll teach you someday. Okay. It's, <laughs> here's your chance to do the hump. Ah, do it, baby. You don't know that song? I don't know um, if I do. I just slaughtered it, but that's okay. Well, I'll play it for you. That's later. nice. <laughs> I love when you lie to me. It's uh, it's wonderful. Um, So let's see if I can get all these characters right. So there was Glasses and Glasses, who were the two first people to get on the dance floor when there was, like, no one out there. Nice. And um, they were hipsters. They both had glasses. And they – both dudes. And they were just – not gay. Like, you could tell that they weren't, like, sexually dancing together. But they were dancing together, and they were very white. That's the best. And it was the best. <laughs> and they're just like, I mean, wish I could have seen that. they were just getting down. And like, one of my favorite things in the whole world <laughs> is to observe white people dancing <laughs> because it is such an awkward, just National Geographic like train wreck. You know what I mean? Like, it just, there needs to be, and we talked about this last night, that we want to start a reality show where we just go to, like, weddings or whatever, and we just, like, observe white people dancing, but we, like, quietly, you know, talk about it in the background. (laughs) Yeah. Like, check out the the North American glasses hipster. He is wildly waving his arms about in some sort of wild mating dance. (laughs) Hoping that the smelly girl in the ripped tights will come over and maybe gyrate on his genitals. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Another show idea. Don't steal it. 
you guys, Colin Dibbs. Um, <laughs> plus, it would be nothing without my commentary. So, <laughs> right? But uh, so glasses and glasses. And the, th- the thing is about white people that I've noticed is that it, we're all about arms. We're yeah. We're all about arms. We have to have our arms up and just elbows out mm-hmm. and wibbling around like noodles. Yeah. Like, that's just what we do. <laughs> and it's just so fun to watch because there's so many different variations of white people noodle arms. <laughs> and <laughs> so it's fun to watch. And so they're getting they're getting down and, and you know, my friend and I are like, okay, you know, like 20 bucks, they go home together. You know what I mean? Like, they just get drunk and they experiment <laughs> and they dance and it's going to be great. And uh, then... See, again, there's just so many characters. I can't. There was a guy there who looked. You, do you know about Angry Cat? No. The, or Grumpy Cat, I think I don't he's think called. I do. It's this cat that's just been blowing up all over the internet where he's like the way his fur is and stuff. He looks like he's frowning. Oh. And he's just like, I'll show you a picture later. So he's Angry Cat or Grumpy Cat. I don't know. Everybody's made like memes about him and stuff. Mm. There was a guy there who, first of all, had all of his hair, you know, like pretty much in his face. But he put his glasses on over his hair. So, like, he had all his hair pulled down, like, right here. But, like, the glasses were over it. Oh, dear. And it was just the weirdest thing. And he had this weird facial hair. <clears throat> and he had this, like, pouty face. And he looked <laughs> exactly like Angry Cat. And so we were calling him Angry Cat all night. Um, and then there was this couple that came. Probably mid forties or so. <laughs> this woman we called her Vesty. What? He was Vesty, and or she was Vesty, <laughs> and she's wearing like a turtleneck and like an old school like jeans like vest, like that, like nice. like a like a tuxedo vest kind of thing. Oh, where I it has know to be what you're buttoned. talking about. Yes. And very tight, high waisted jeans. With a classy turtleneck. Oh, bright red. That's it was, an outfit that can't be beat. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> oh <my laughs> she was gosh. wearing her like wonderful her like good like dinner party pearls and it was just amazing <laughs> and then her um boyfriend or hubby or whatever he had um like what this, was her hair like i guess um i'm gonna say like shoulder length sort of permed close okay it was about to her chin but it was like like it had been permed at one mm-hmm. point but she hadn't been back for a while oh my God. so it was like big you know but just on the bottom it was epic. It was so epic. And it was a little feathered. She had a little bit of feather bangs Well, that's on. what I was picturing. Yeah, Most the feathering. The, feather. <laughs> the feathering. Yeah. So then her hubby, he's uh, wearing also extremely tight jeans and um, a T-shirt that I can't remember what it was. It was something about uh, Jesus and whatever. Ooh. Again, nothing nothing wrong with that. But uh, it was just very, like, you know, I don't know, very epic, like, strong message type yeah. T-shirt. But yeah. here he is with his... Um, glass of wine at the VFW, <laughs> all they had to offer wine-wise is a box of Franzia, <laughs> white Zinfandel, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm sitting at the bar next to you as he comes up and he goes, do you have a wine list? <laughs> and I was not drunk, but I was buzzed enough to say to my friend... <laughs> Uh, probably too loudly. We're out of VFW. There's no wine list. <laughs> and Dwayne, who's the greatest bartender ever, um, was like, "Yeah, we got a wine list. It's a box. It's a box wine. Do you want some?" <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, poor guy. Like he's probably expecting, you know, some barefoot bubbly or whatever." And you know, all we got is this Francia white swimming in the box. And then get this, of course, to get even better, he goes, oh, yes, I'll have a glass. Three cubes of ice, please. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. That's the best, uh, that's the best way to enjoy yeah. your wine. Yeah, I mean, white Zimbabwe, you down. just, you can't get really the front palate unless there's <laughs> a few cubes of ice in there. Um, <laughs> so he does his wine, and she's drinking, Aww. um like, a vodka tonic or something. Mm. And these two go out. And she, she had the moves, okay? Oh, like these yes. jeans, her jeans were so tight. I don't know how she was dropping it as low as she was. <gasps> and you have to imagine too that this, this is a 40 something year old yes. woman. Wonderful. And like the tightest jeans I've ever seen. Were and they she also is, mom jeans? They were like, super mom jeans. Just a little bit of everything. All waist. In there. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Yep. It, all like under <laughs> in her crotch. Like, the, you know what I mean? <laughs> and she's just like, 
you know, almost chicken dancing kind of, but like she's getting like down. You guys can't see it right now, which is <laughs> unfortunate, but I'm doing like a little impression of her. But she's like kind of booty dancing and like dropping it low and like wiggling her butt around and stuff. And he is holding his wine glass and he's Ooh. got, he's thin, but he had this like weird, I wouldn't even call it a wine belly. It must oh. be a Franzia belly. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Which is clearly not wine. It's not. It's just all, I don't know. With his pinky up? He had his pinky out, and he's holding this white Zimmendel iced in a wine glass in the VFW on the dance floor, getting down to um, Black Street's No Diggity. No lie. <laughs> and he was one of those, um, it's like all feet. Like, he doesn't really yeah. move his upper body. Yeah. So he's just, you know, kicking his feet out. Nice. and But not really moving his arms. No. And just the pinkies out. And he's taking a little sip as he goes. But his feet never stop moving. And she's like, booty! And it was just, like, we're just sitting there like, oh, my God, this is, I've never been to such a magical place ever. <laughs> glasses and glasses are getting down on each other. You've got, you know. So then let's get to um, the all singing, all dancing um, farts when she pees. She, <laughs> <laughs> before anybody started dancing, at one point, she was the only one out on the dance floor. Oh. And she's also a middle-aged lady, you know. She was wearing, um, a leather biker's vest. Nice. Oh, amazing. The vests are really amazing. coming They are. Back. Too, the VFW, <laughs> or the vests are what it's left. all about. I don't <laughs> they, know. They never did. <laughs> Not in the Midwest. I think this will always be a standard around these parts. But so she... Oh, dear. So she's dancing alone, you know, and she's getting down. And we're like, oh, props to her. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't care. Like, she'll dance by herself, you know? So then I go to the bathroom. And I'm the only one in there at the time. But then she comes in. Oh, dear. And she's singing really loudly, like, in a in a, you know, I'm auditioning for a Broadway show type singing. Yeah. And I'm in my stall, and it's just, you know, you know me. I have yeah. that public restroom fear. Yeah. Um, I it actually. It kind of overwhelming. It was. Times, isn't it? Yeah. I was like, oh, God, now I can't go. <laughs> you know, not only that, because she's in there being like, I wish I could remember the song she was singing, but, you know, top of her lungs. And she's, like, still dancing. Like, I can see her feet, like, under the <laughs> stall door. And she's wearing, like, these clogs. <laughs> and she's just singing, and she gets in the bathroom, and she's like, is there anybody in here? <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to be like, yes. <laughs> so I threw my purse on the floor. That's like a signal <laughs> to be like, someone's here. <laughs> she goes, oh, oh, someone is. Sorry about my singing. And then she starts, you know, and then the, the rest of the name is self-explanatory. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable at this point. So I was like, well... Uh, I'll just be later. It's going to be fine. Um, and she was still singing when I walked out. And I found out later that she is the owner's wife. Oh. So I was like, hey, she's got all rights reserved yeah. to do whatever she wants to. And that's awesome. And <laughs> it was just, I mean, and then the hipsters that were there and what they were wearing and just like, there's Matthew, he was like the MC, and, you know, he was like kind of throwing the thing. He's wearing one of like the most epic. Cosby sweaters I've ever seen. Nice. And uh, it just, I, you know, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I know I'm forgetting a few um, people as far as, like, our little characters that we – oh, Jeff Josh. There was <laughs> Jeff Josh. Um, <laughs> he – it's been a long time since I've been hit on somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I, I don't really go to places, I guess, that that, that sort of thing happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, – and I'm just not – I don't think I'm approachable. I think I give off like a – if you come and talk to me, I'll murder your whole family kind of vibes <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so that may be why. I have a hard – nobody buys me drinks or anything. But so this guy oh, comes dear. up and starts chatting me and uh, Kelly up and just laying down the – the cheesiest stuff. Man. Oh, good. Yeah, just, you know. Nice. Like, hey, ladies, what brings you here tonight? You guys going to dance? I think I might dance. <laughs> Should we dance together? I was like, no. I was like, we're just here to, to watch, you know. And he was like, 
oh yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Mind if I sit down? And I was like, yeah, okay. You know, <laughs> because we're too nice, you know. So we were like, yeah, okay. So he sits down. He gets into an altercation with the bartender. Ooh. And I'm telling him, I told Jeff Josh. Yeah. I was like, don't you mess with Dwayne. I was like, Dwayne is the shit. And he was like, oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is he your friend? That's my bad. And then he apologized, you know, to Dwayne, and I was good. like, "Yeah, good." Yeah. And then he's like, "Oh, so can I can I buy you ladies drinks? Can I buy you ladies drinks?" And we we're like, "Oh no, you know, we're okay." Because you know, like that's the international. Like, if we accept the mm-hmm. drink, then all of a sudden we're expected. Oh yeah. To whatever pay him somehow yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like we're obligated to at mm-hmm. least like make out with him in the bathroom. Well. You know, all singing, all dancing, ladies serenades us. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, and he's like, "My name is Jeff," and I was like, "Oh, nice to meet you, Jeff." And I just had to come over. You know, I saw you guys from across the bar, and I was like, "You know, if there's one thing I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to go over and talk to the two cute girls in glasses." <laughs> and this is I'm I'm dancing as I'm telling you because that's what he's doing. And Kelly and I just sort of look at each other. And we're like, mm-hmm. "He dances his way yeah, over." Yeah. Hey, Lays ladies. I told myself I was going to talk to the two cute glasses girls. <laughs> My name's Jeff. What's yours? And uh, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly kept calling him Josh, <laughs> which in my mind is a total burn. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, hey, ladies, I'll buy you a drink. My name's Jeff. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks, Josh. <laughs> It was awesome. And uh, we totally had to do the thing where she had to kind of like turn her back to him. And yeah. we just kind of started our own personal conversation yeah. to sort of like give him yeah. the, the like, we're like, all right. The nice, signal. Nice to meet you, Jeff Josh. Thanks a lot. <laughs> all right. Anyways, Jeff Josh is a dork. You know what I mean? Like right in front of him. He was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. Just very, just really cheesy. Oh, and then there was the guy. <laughs> There was drunk, uh, pass out man, which isn't a very clever name. I'm sure. I think there was a better one. I just can't remember it at the moment. But this gen, oh, Professor Drunk Snape. <laughs> he, he looked like Professor Snape if Snape, like, had a really serious alcohol problem. <laughs> like, he had the bags under his eyes, you know. And when we got there, he was oh fine. And he was sitting next to us and he kept staring at us, which was already weird. Uh, but then, we realized over time that, like, this dude was just hammered. Mm-hmm. Like, looked like he was going to vomit on himself. Like, he's sitting there, like, at the table just, like, looking at us. Oh, my god! You know, like. Yeah. Like, yeah. at us. I'm like, oh, yeah. my God. I was like, he's going to die. Finally, his friend takes his drink out of his hand. That's and such I was, a good friend. Oh, my gosh. His buddy that was there with him, like, was a great, like, took care of him in the sense that he let him just fall asleep at the bar and yeah. just sort of left him alone. Yeah. Um, which only at the VFW. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Any other bar you go to, they're going to be like, you can't, you can't fall asleep. Mm-hmm. You can't look like you're going to barf. Like, we will cut you off. No problem. No. The VFW, they're like, we're just going to give you drinks until you become a problem and then we'll call the cops on you. <laughs> That's what happens. You want to fall asleep as long as nobody needs a seat? It's cool. And so he was just draped over like a dead person, <laughs> his greasy snape hair in his face, and uh, his trench coat. Oh, my god! And we were worried. We kept kind of yeah. watching. But his buddy would go over, and he'd kind of touch him and be like, you know, oh, just to check if he's breathing, maybe. <laughs> Alive. And, you okay, know, bye. yeah, he's like, all right. And he'd go off and dance some more. And, and it was just this, it was just an epic, epic evening. Of magic. It was, I felt like Cinderella (laughs) at the ball. (laughs) They played old music, old jams, you know, like Destiny's Child. It was amazing. I felt like Cinderella. I did. At the ball. At the hipster ball. Oh, it was so gosh. great. I know. And it was funny, too, because when we got there, we were early for the dance party. And so it was just her and I and, like, one other pair of hipsters and uh, a bunch of old people. Like, yeah. you know, veterans, right? Mm-hmm. It's the BMW. Literally, like, 9 o'clock on the dot, the music comes up. And it was like you blink, and all of the the old people just disappeared. They were just gone. Yeah. Like you, like I didn't even see them leave. It was just like <laughs> whoop, they were just gone. And I was like, "What?" And then just the whole scene changed, man. Yeah. And it was just this crazy, awesome, totally great night. Oh, and I so want yeah. to go. You please. It was so much fun. I, I haven't had that much fun like out in a really, really long time. Yeah, me so neither. So you should Gosh. come with us. Um, it's $2 rail drinks. Oh, perfect. Which is all of their drinks. Because <laughs> it's the BFW. 
<laughs> so it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, what a deal. And they have some That's taps. Awesome. Yeah. It's uh, it's one like tiny little room. and I might try the wine selection. Friends, yeah. As long as you don't, you can totally do that in front of me. Just don't put those cubes in there. <laughs> that would face. I would not want to be, as, I don't want to be associated with that. <laughs> but yeah, so it was, it was a super blast and you have to, I'm sorry. I just totally like, what? just my laugh track. So. Oh my gosh. No, no. I love it. And I it. promise you everything I just said is real. It's true. It all happened. <laughs> you know? I'm not making any of it up and I'm not exaggerating. It's... Like this was, it was like I was on acid and stuff was just happening around me, <laughs> and all I could do was laugh about it because it was just it was too much, man. It was too much, but in a good way, in a, in a very good way. That I'm glad I got to experience the whole thing. I feel like you're a better person. I yeah. am. It's really changed me <clears throat> from deep inside. It yeah. I'm humbled now <laughs> that I don't order box wine with ice. <laughs> You're gonna come. I, we're not. I don't know if because it's every Tuesday. Yeah. Um. If you are in the area, if you're listening. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I just have to recover for a second. I've been laughing too hard. My face hurts. My good. Face hurts. That's a good thing. <laughs> I'm working out your abs, girl. Um. <laughs> if you are in the mm. Minneapolis area, and you want to have the time of your life, or if you are traveling at any time, mm-hmm. maybe passing through the Midwest from wherever you are. Stop, yeah. please, at the Ballantine VFW, right off of uh, Lindale and I think it's Jefferson. Oh, and nice. uh, Yeah, and just on a Tuesday night after 9 o'clock and just have the time of your life. <laughs> it's, like, it's like better than Vegas. <laughs> okay. We, <laughs> Cheaper. That was a very long story. That's but right. uh, we have some speak pipes. Okay. Surprisingly. Yeah, I'm actually very excited to hear them. Me too. Um, so it's such gonna, a treat. It is a treat. It feel I feel like it's like oh, we're not alone. No, people I, are listening. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? So we will be right back with those. And- when the pimp's in the crib, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot.